Um, as you all have reported to your listeners before, the matter of bail centers primarily around the issue of what lawyers refer to as flight risk. A person is likely, quite likely, to run away once they get bail and not attend their trial. So that was a matter for consideration. The judge inquired thoroughly in relation to the concerns. And up to when I left the court, bail had been granted to Mr. Saulus Penner in the, as I have indicated in other occasions, uh, in the amount of $40,000. And with very strict conditions. Those conditions include, of course, the reporting to the police two or three times for the week, must attend every court hearing, including those where there is only an adjournment, and not to interfere with any witnesses, can't leave this country, they must hand over all travel documents to the court. They are required to observe very strict conditions. And the $40,000 would be forfeited to the government, I believe, in the event that they breach any of the conditions. Uh, bail was also granted to police officer Eric Young. I know you had inquired about what were the views in regards to the family. And on learning that bail had been granted, the family of Eric Young, the first thing that came out was they wanted to thank Jesus that their prayers were answered in relation to having their loved one spend his birthday with the family. Uh, bail hearings were continuing in relation to the persons from the villages in Cario who were also charged in relation to the matter of the drug plane that landed or crash landed in the Pine Ridge area. So I think the media was primarily concerned as to whether or not the police officer would get bail. And in his case, the judge had had very strong words to him because although it's virtual, they are there at prisons in front of a television screen and they are in the court. So the judge has expressed her grave disappointment that a police officer would claim that he's out hunting after curfew and hunting in an area where hunting is more than likely prohibited. And she was concerned because one of the conditions for bail from the Supreme Court is normally that while you are on bail, you are not to be arrested for any offense. Otherwise, you are to be returned to the court to show cause why bail would not be revoked. And the judge had said that from the officer's own mouth, he was claiming that he was out hunting, but it would have been after curfew hours. And that he had already shown a certain propensity towards not obeying the laws of the land. And he's a police officer. 